Welcome to day 91 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're going to create a form on Webflow and connect it to HubSpot and then connect the thank you message to one of the form input fields so that it says, you know, thank you, Yar, for example, if it's connected to the first name field. We're going to use, of course, Webflow forms. We're going to connect them to HubSpot using the HubSpot app. And then we're going to use some FinSuite hacks, which is FinSuite hack number one which is customizing the thank you message or the success message of the form on Webflow. So without further ado, let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's go. Okay, so today we're gonna see how to connect this form to HubSpot and also customize the thank you message. So it says my name in this case. So for example, if I fill in this form, uh, test, let's see some test fields. This is a test and click submit, it's gonna say, thank you, Yar. That's the name I just input. We'll get back to you shortly. So how is this done in Webflow and HubSpot? So first you will need to create a HubSpot form. Um, so this is done. First you will need to create your form on Webflow. So this is a Webflow form, a Webflow native form that I gave a name of form pricing request. Uh, using the HubSpot application, I connected this form to HubSpot by clicking on Map Webflow Form to HubSpot Form. And then I selected the form, and then I selected uh, the form I had, which was, uh, I think I need to publish to bring that back. But uh, this is already connected, so that's uh, done. So you connect your form, and then uh, you don't need to make any fields. You don't need to make anything. You just need to have your form connected and then you can start submitting. Now, since this is a Webflow native form, I can control the thank you message from here. So this is the success message. And uh, using FinSuite's hacks, one of FinSuite's Webflow hacks using jQuery, I copied this code and I edited it. Now in the hack here, it's a drop down that uh, upon when you submit it, it just, you know, takes the value of the dropdown that's selected. But in our case, it's a text field that is when submitted, I want the value from here. So I edited this code. So I'm going to leave the code for you under. Uh, this is collecting the name field. This is the form. And this is the success text class. And this is the message I have. So it's thank you name break line we'll get back to you shortly and the thumbs up emoji so i'll leave this script for you down below so that's basically it now when you submit the form it will just copy the name and you know submits it to hubspot so if we see here we have five form submissions this is the one i just submitted um so yeah this is the one so that's the video for today Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey. See you tomorrow.